today lecture we are going to discuss this problem here it is expressed in the regular expression so as you can see that it is a um, regular grammar so we can convert it into the machine so there is a simple s so how can convert it s starting symbol and x go to node x and transition on a so this represent x produce ax now for s bs you are in state s and reach to state s with the input b and there is two more production a and b if you look let the new product destination is a final state so here you are but just going on a comma b okay similarly x so here you will going to x reaching to x on the input transition a and this is the a now this is if you write down this i will write down x produce bx ax a D B D X produce A X A D and D produce epsilon. So if you simplify it, you will get the same thing. Okay. Now next task is just converted into the simple machine. So in place of this, replace Q not with a starting symbol that B x is represented with q1 and d is represented with q2 so when you do this what you get there is a this is a it is a similar machine a comma b and here you get a now if you write down the arden theorem for this okay or just converted this into the regular expression what do you do for that just write down the equation equation what is q naught is a in starting one so q naught I, I may write like this uh, q naught b plus epsilon q1 q1 i may write like this uh, it is q naught a plus q one a and what can I write for q two? It is a final state, so I may write q naught a plus b plus q one a. Okay, this is the equation. Now let's solve this equation. So when you solve this equation. So let's solve this equation. So what I can write q naught by Arden theorem. So by Arden theorem, I may write q naught. What is Arden theorem? If R is equal to q plus R p, then I may write R is equal to q p star. Similarly, if you look this equation. Let equation number one, two, and three. So take the take equation one. Take equation one. So by Arden theorem, what you can write? Q naught. Q naught is equal to. So here, our uh, Q is epsilon, and uh, P is B. B star. So I can write B star. Okay. Now, if you look further, find the Q1, take equation 2, take equation 2, Q1 is equal to, put the value of Q0, B star, I am write B star, A plus Q1, 
U1 and apply the Arden theorem. If you apply the Arden theorem, here is what is Q? Q is B star A. So I may write B star A and P is A, so I may write A star. Okay. Now take the equation 2. So if you take the equation 2, uh, equation here we sorry equation 3. If you take the equation 3, what about Q2? Q2 is the final state. Q0, Q0 is a B star A plus B N plus. What is Q1? B star A, A star A. So this is the regular expression. If you look the machine, you will get the same uh, kind of expression. So for this grammar, for this grammar, our regular expression will be B star for this grammar, if you look this grammar, our regular expression will be B star, let me write it here, B star, if you look B star is here, B star, and you go there, you get A and B, okay. B star either A or B plus. So this is in one. Okay. okay. Or you go B star A A star A. This is another. So B star A A star A. So this is our final regular expression. Is this clear? Hope you have cleared this. One, thank you.